This is Explore Hong Kong at one of the busiest temples in Hong Kong dedicated to the God of Healing, Wang Dai Xin. Come and explore Hong Kong like a local with us. Welcome to Wang Dai Xin Temple. Before you go in, you need to register first by either using the government app or you can register online or by filling in a form. And this is where you register. So you need to write down your name and also your phone numbers. After we register, then they will give us the ticket to enter the temple. And this would be, this is a bazaar where you can buy the incense and also the, uh, the fortune wheel. So we usually come here to get the incense and offering before we go into the temples. And that is $10. So you need to give them the ticket to go in. Oh, and here we are, Wong Tai Sin Temple. Before you go in, you touch the head of the dragon baby and the dragon mother and make sure that you wash your hand afterward. And when people come in, they will give the donation into the Gong Da Shen. And this is some new features in the Wan Tai Sen Temple. That is escalator. So they have uh, expansion and renovation recently. The first song would be the statues of the 12 zodiacs. Let's start with the last animal uh, that finished the race. The pig, the dog, the rooster. This is monkey holding a longevity peach, the goat. Next one is the horse, a snake. You can see its tongue. The dragon holding a ball, the rabbit, holding a book, the tiger, the ox, this year is the year of ox. The first animal that finished the race is the rat. So this is the reason why the Chinese lunar cycle starts with the rat. For this year, they will light up the incense for you. So each of you will get nine incense from the staff. Okay, guys, I and they light up for you here. And this is Wan Tai Sin Temple. So we will start from here. There are different gods. The first one here is Phuc Tat Din, that they will worship the two gods, the god and also the goddess of land, Tou Dei Gong Gong Tou Dei Po Po. So what you do is that you hold up the three incense with both of your hands and then you make your wishes and bow three times. And then next is the god of Chinese medicine. And the last one is the god of wealth. And this is where the main god, Wan Tai Sin, is situated. So you will be able to see the portrait of Wan Tai Sin inside this temple. This is the main hall. And then you bow three times and offer the incense to Wan Tai Sin. You will place the incense here. So you should place three incense, but they gave us four incense just now. So Wan Tai Sin is also known as the god of healing. He is a very famous uh, deity in Hong Kong. How famous he is, this district is also named after him, Wan Tai Sin. At the end of the year, make sure you go to Wan Tai Sin temple again. And then to thank Wan Tai Sin for the blessing in this year. And now we are going to ask uh, Wan Tai Sin some questions on how our year will be like this year. 
inside the bamboo containers, there are 100 bamboo sticks, each with our numbers, and each number corresponds to one uh, Chinese classical poetry. So what we say is, Wang Dai Xin Yao Kao Bi Yang. So people come here to shake this bamboo container with 100 fortune stick inside, and eventually ones will come out. While you are shaking it, make sure that uh, you are thinking the questions in your head, in your mind. And close your eyes until one fortune stick comes out. And you will mark down the numbers. Number 75. And this question is about explore Hong Kong. Okay, so two fortune stick comes out just now. I need to put it into the container again and ask the question. So make sure you remember the numbers and then you will find I will usually find a fortune teller to explain for him to explain it for me and then you return. So you can also find papers and also pencil here for you to write down the numbers. Apart from making donation by cash, you can also make donation by using your octopus card now. And after you know the numbers, then you will go and find a fortune teller. So there are so many fortune teller in Wong Tai Sin, more than a hundred. It is around twenty to maximum fifty dollar for them to explain one message for you. And then this is the fortune teller that we usually find. The store is actually very small and this is where you will sit and then you can find a separator between you and also the fortune teller. It is our turn now. So after you get the number 98 fortune stick and then they will give you this small papers with the Chinese classical poetry on it. And then just now the fortune teller tells me that uh, it's concerning Explore Hong Kong that I need to learn more related knowledge that would help me in my career in this year. So how to choose a fortune teller? Um, you need to know whether he or she can speak English or Mandarin or Cantonese. So they will write it down outside their shop. And also for some really famous one, they will also show the pictures that they talk with the celebrities. As you can see more people queuing up outside this one. So probably it is a more accurate one. And I need to show you this one. So this fortune teller knows Japanese, English, Cantonese, Mandarin, Guilin dialect, German and Italian but she's not here today. Just now we get this gourd wu lao. This is the real gourd and then they just dried it and here it wrote yes sun ping on so we can hang it on our car. We hope you enjoy the video. Check out our Instagram and subscribe to our channel for everything about Hong Kong. See you next week.